of this will pass, I assure you. Keep fighting! Home sweet filth. Good. Just in time. Asher has ordered everyone into the square. Rumor has it that he's going to open up the arena. That's perfect for us. It's simple, really. From time to time, Asher opens up the arena. Any slave who wants to can fight against the gladiators. If you win, you get your freedom. More importantly, you get an audience with Asher. It's the only way a slave will ever get to talk to him directly. You fight, you win, and when you talk to Asher, you take the cure. Not exactly, no. Warner has a distraction planned. We haven't been making these weapons for nothing, you know. But when you're meeting with Asher, you'll be close enough to grab the cure. Get it and bring it to me. Now let's get out there and listen to Asher's speech. There'll be hell to pay if the guards catch us in here. I bring you good news! We stand at the dawn of a new golden age, where others merely survive. We thrive! And while I have led your efforts, it has been by your own strength that you have earned all the envy of the world. And most of all, they envy our victories in the struggle for freedom. Because yes, freedom is what we all and work so, towards. And so, to celebrate this struggle, I ask my loyal workers, who among you is prepared to fight for your freedom? Right here. We have one. This man here will fight in the hole. Come on, Asher. Will you send someone to the Sir, hole? Sir, you carry not only the dream that workers can become free, but that we may all someday become truly free from the threats of our world. She sets up the flights. Report to Phaedra in the steel mill. You look too damn friendly for you. Watch yourself in the arena. We can't do this without you. The cure is the key to healing the sickness around here. Look at us! We've all got it! And the more they force us to work in this mess, the worse it gets. People are going trog faster than ever before. The cure is the first thing in this place that hasn't been infected. What about me? I was born here, I'll probably die here. I've lived my whole life under Asher's boot heel. The only thing that keeps me alive is the thought that I might be able to turn the tables someday. I was born shortly after the Brotherhood Scourge. As bad as it is now, I can't imagine what it was like before Asher. Some of the stories I heard when I was a little girl, about the Trogs and the Wildmen, it scare the hell out of you. I don't care how tough you were. Honestly, I don't know how anything survived, let alone how Asher managed to control any of those freaks. Sometimes, just sometimes, I think that maybe things are better with him here. We come from all over. Most were born here, but lately, the bosses have been bringing us in from all over. Our freedom is in your hands!
I can't stand the fucking I can't bosses. Stand the this fucking is disgusting. Bosses. You can it's take disgusting. weapons into the hole. So you're the dumbass scab that signed up to fight in the hole, huh? Well, head on down. Phaedra's waiting for you. <laughs> doing down here, slave? Don't tell me your pale ass is gonna throw down. You don't sign up. You tell me you want to fight, I set up a fight. You die, and I repeat it with the next jackass slave who comes in here. Sound good? You want in? Come on, death's gotta be better than your life, am I right? It's pretty simple. When the gates open, you fight. Last one standing wins. Of course, when the gates open, the barrels drop in. So just make sure you kill the other guy before you die of radiation poisoning. You don't want to spend too much time with whatever's in those barrels. What's to tell? Most die. Yeah, one or two have made it out, but that's about it. You have what you take in with you. But if that's not enough, there are a couple of things in that locker over there. Yeah, yeah. You again? Back for more, huh? Oh yeah? You sure you're ready to die? Well, all right. I've got one for you right away. Or you can take some time to put your affairs in order. <laughs> it's up to you. We're gonna throw you in there with a bunch of the other scabs who think they've got what it takes. You're all gonna fight it out and the last one standing gets to move on. Probably won't be you, though. If you're ready, just step on in. They will fight! They will die! And all for you! All for your entertainment! Okay. slave. Those were some of the toughest scabs around here. You've got some fight in you, it seems. But I wouldn't get too excited. I'm sure Asher's got something special planned for your next fight. Here's something for the rads. Enjoy it while you can. Come back when you're ready for your next fight. You again? I wouldn't count on luck this time. You damn well better be ready. Asher says he wants to make this one good, so he gave you the Bear Brothers. They're a couple of mean bastards. Hell, rumor has it they're halfway to Trog as it is. But I'm sure you'll do fine. Just fine. Well, all right, that's what I like to hear. Get on in there. Let's find out if the newcomer can hold his own against real fighters. Release! Fight!
bag, Grinder, not bad. The Bear Brothers were some pretty mean sons of bitches. One more fight and you're free. But I wouldn't plan on making it through the next one. Here's a shot for the Rads. Come back when you're ready for your last fight. You again? This'll be your last fight, Scab. One more and I don't get to call you that anymore. You ready? You're going up against Gruber. He's one of the only slaves to win in the hole. There's only ever been, what, three? I guess he got a taste for blood. But unfortunately for you, he's got a pretty decent gun. So odds are this is the last time you and I will be talking. Well, all right, that's what I like to hear. Get on in there. Undefeated in the hole, Gruber has yet to meet his match. Well now, aren't you quite the scrapper? Congratulations. You've done well. Asher wishes to see you. The guards will be told to allow you to pass. How's it going? Hey, if it isn't the newest addition to our little family. You hit the jackpot now, Wizkid. You're in Asher's army. Now's when the hard work really starts. Fuck yes we do. Those lazy workers get food and board, and all they have to do is work the mail and complain. But we're the ones who go out on raids to get that food. And we're the ones getting shot at for their lazy asses. So don't you get all weepy for those scabs downtown. They don't know how easy they got it. But I do what I can to keep us all standing upright. If you need to drop some rats, I'm here to help. Okay, watch yourself out there. Well, if it isn't Asher's newest pet, he doesn't let many mongrels into his mansion. Him and his keen eyes must see something special in you, so Lulu's going to keep her eyes on you, too.
The Lord of the Pit knows all, and his eyes see promise where others see rubble. What does he see in you? A cure? A scourge? Or maybe nothing more than a plaything? Soon, Lulu will see what lies inside you. But first, perhaps Asher's pet needs to be fed. Then here, delicious food for you. Eat and be good. Saw you earn your ticket uptown. Don't start thinking that makes you special. You're still just meat. You just got moved up to a higher grade of sausage is all. Not hardly. Deep down, we're all meat. And even the best of us is just gonna be trog chow someday. No shame in it. Just the way life goes. It's all meat, baby. Don't give me that. What's up? If it isn't quick draw. What's up? Get out of my face. What's up? Scram. Lord Asher will be right with you. Feel free to wait inside, champion. And I'm telling you, I've got it covered. I'll be with you right after I maintain some order and dispense a little justice. And I suppose you'll follow that up by raising the dead. No, but I may heal the infirm later in the week. Time permitting, of course. Sir. We've had sightings of Werner back in the city, and there's been an increase in chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom someday. Whatever we call them, they've been gathering makeshift weapons. All right, all right. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on Medea at all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go through her. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Yes, sir. Okay, break's over. Nice work in the hole, New Blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. So that begs the question, who are you? And what are you doing in my city? I understand. 
we've all got a past. And damn few of us have reason to be proud of it. That's all behind you now. In the pit, you'll be part of a growing army, a thriving industry, and maybe even witness to a cure for radiation. But we aren't perfect, and sometimes the past comes back to haunt us. Tell me, do you know a man named Werner? Ever since the city was scourged, we've done what everyone does. Whatever's necessary to survive. I know my city seems barbaric to you, but it's the only way we can carve out a home in this hellhole, and it's kept these people alive. But that's enough stalling for time. So do you know Werner? Werner used to be my second in command until he betrayed me. He was exiled to the slave pens, but he escaped not too long ago. I believe he's planning to strike at the city again and may be working with the slaves to do it. You've had a lot of contact with them, so maybe you can hunt him down and put an end to him. Do it, and I'll name you my lieutenant on the spot. Ah, of course. Would these plans happen to involve stealing a precious little something from me? Don't look so surprised. Your arrival was too convenient. And even if you never met Werner, I'm sure he got someone to make you an offer. It's okay. I get a lot of people trying to betray me. Part of the position, really. You can be honest with me. then that means you're either a liar or a moron. And neither one is a trait I'd like to see in my army. Care to try again? Easy enough. You could say no because he lied to you. My discovery is a miracle. But it isn't the type that sets slaves free. Now it would do a lot more good if you were to... Lord Ashton, Don't let me keep you. Rioting, and Don't let them. me keep you. We need you out here. And Don't let me. Damn it! I'm on my way. I suggest you forget Werner's offer and consider mine. Stop Werner, and you'll have a bright future in the pit. Don't disappoint me, New Blood. Test one two. Looks like this thing is on. Marie, if you're there. This is your father speaking, Ishmael Asher, sometimes called Lord of the Pit. Now I hope you're hearing this ten years from now, sitting on my knees safe and sound. Right about now, I bet I'm looking pretty silly. But things don't always work out the way we'd like. There are a lot of risks, including what your mother would do if she heard me talking like this. And I'm not about to risk leaving you alone without knowing where you came from. These tapes are for you, so you can know who your father really was. Hello? Oh, I wasn't expecting Asher to let you into the lab. I'm Sandra, and if I know my husband, he's already made you an offer to join us, right? So you're here to see our little miracle, aren't you? This is my daughter Marie. She can be a handful, but my little angel is going to save the city. Actually, it's a combination lab and nursery. Little Marie needs a lot of attention and care if she's going to cure the city. Well, this is a nice surprise. Apparently you and Asher are the only other people who know anything about science in this place. Yes, it seems that our daughter was born with a naturally acquired immunity to any form of mutation. It's nothing short of a miracle, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out why. 
but she may just hold the key to stopping the pit's trog problem. Hell, maybe other types of mutations too. Oh no, these tests are perfectly safe. In fact, between the crib and her uncanny health, she's probably the safest child in the world. Asher and I would never risk her health. And if that means it takes longer to develop a full cure, then, well, everyone else can wait. You're a dear, but things are well in hand here. If you really want to help, you should probably go deal with whatever had Asher rushing off in such a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take care of one last test before Marie's nap time. Think you can get away with this? Every raider in this town will be up.